Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Unity 3D tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about statistics and we're going to be talking about damage handling uh, and good stuff like that. However, if you do find this simple, I recommend you just click away because you probably know how to do all this stuff and I'm just wasting your time. So yeah, please enjoy the video guys and I'll see you in Unity. Alright guys, so here in Unity we are going to be working on the script that we had last time, but first of all we're going to change a few things, right? So first, we want to get rid of this take damage script uh, function, sorry, at the start here, wait, we don't want that there. Uh, we're going to keep the max health, we're going to keep everything else the same, the update's going to be the same for the health regen, but we're going to change a few things here, for example, how tidy it is. So we're going to take this max health, we're actually going to take it down two notches away uh, from our actual health script so we're going to separate this and we'll leave something called a comment now if you don't know how to do a comment it's basically two slashes and you can write whatever you want in that line and the script will basically ignore it but it's good for uh, keeping track of stuff so here we're going to um, put in uh, statistics okay, there we go so um, basically from here on out just beneath here uh, all I'm going to do is add a few statistics and they'll all be either using int or float so it doesn't really matter too much I'll skip over that I explained that before Alright, so now that all these statistics are done, um, basically we're going to learn how to handle them. So basically you write them uh, as you have for the rest, and for some reason I guess the health regen is probably the only one that needs uh, a decimal place number, so it's the only one that will ever be a float, right? So if we come down here um, in our take damage script, uh, so here we're going to fiddle around with this so that it actually takes damage properly and does the mathematics behind it. So you're going to want to leave a bit of space up top here um, to run a few other scripts. So every time the take damage script is called, remember we need the damage um, amount, and now we're actually going to create something called a string, right? Now a string is a line of uh, we'll say letters instead of numbers and it basically holds it as that um, if I write um, so we want the string We want a string name um, and we're going to call it uh, type I should be writing DMG type like that there we go because we want to know what type of damage it actually is right and so now we're going to put some if statements to determine what the damage is right so we're going to go if DMG type oh, if DMG type is equal to and now we give a string now every time we give um, a string amount a value uh, we need to put it into quotation marks like that and then we write whatever we need in the middle All right so we're going to go damage type let's say it's magic damage so we go magic uh, Actually, we'll just write magic for that one. So, if the damage type is equal to magic, then we are going to suss out the health and what it needs to do. So, every time take damage is called, we know how much damage there is and what type of damage, uh, what type of damage it is, and then we can uh, determine what it is and basically do a bit of math around here. So, I'm just going to wait one second. I'll just quickly um, let's see. So, we go. If the damage type equals magic, then DMG equals DMG minus uh, magic resistance. Magic res. Oh, res. There we go. Okay, so basically, if, if uh, you don't understand up to now, I have made in the statistics folder something called magic res or magic resistance, right? And you got this in League, and I'm pretty sure you got it in Dota as well. Um, and basically, what this does is negate uh, magic damage towards a player. So if you build magic resistance, of course, you're negating that from the amount of damage that you're taking. So when we take damage, we want this damage uh, button here to change before we take it from our health. Right, so when uh, the damage amount comes in, it's going to read, ah, okay, so magic damage is coming in. And so it comes in like that. And then it will go, okay, since it's magic damage, we're going to negate some magic resistance from the amount of damage. 
and then we're going to apply that to our health which is this line here right which hopefully is very easy to understand and pretty much you do this uh, with every other type of um, of damage type you can think of and remember you don't need to state the damage types because we're leaving them as strings so every time damage is called we know from our game that we call it magic or um, true or whatever whatever we want so we're going to get another damage type here damage type we go oh. damg type there we go and then we are going to uh, give it something else like physical physical damage is another one and we close that off in the if statements um, and now we're going to go dmg equals dmg minus armor yeah sorry for you americans out there i spell armor like that um yep so basically this does the exact same thing except armor def uh, defends physical damage um and we've got our armor statistics up here so that looks pretty good so now that that one works pretty well and then once we figure out what it is we might and we negate it then we can apply it to our health finally and another thing we can do here to just fix things up a bit uh, this is going to be too complicated this is going to be me fixing some stuff up pretty much um we're going to do heal we're going to do the heal script here we go and in the heal script of course we need just like everything else we need another f uh float we could always just go int actually should probably do that int um, oh no we can't because it's health float float uh amt for amount there we go so basically what i've done here is what we did in the previous tutorial uh with the take damage script we just create another sorry the take damage uh fuck, what do you call it the take damage function we've created another function here for, for heal and it gives you a float amount so we're going to write what the heal actually does well it takes your health pretty basic and it increases your health by the amount that you want and then we can close it off right so it's basic mathematics and you just screw around with these and then you just make whatever I mean you can make healing you know times damage if you want or divide damage for take damage it doesn't really matter you know um, yeah basically you're not so when we're doing this we're um we're just fiddling around with all the mathematics and stuff so you can actually go up and down and we can create as many functions as we want take damage heal and what another thing we can use is the functions for the actual um um player so each player has their own separate players uh player script which is this script we're creating right now or we can do each player has their abilities in their player script and we make a player script for every champion or every character or every hero or whatever you like to call it gods um so that's pretty much it for that one and now actually if we do have the time i can start something else okay for now we're actually just going to create a little if statement in the update function just so we can test out the health so we're going to put that first actually we're going to go up and give a bit of space and we are going to go if and we'll go input dot get key down uh we put that in there yep we do okay and we go key code uh dot we'll say what button should we just say A? Okay. Keycode.A. There we go. That should be good. And then we want to go take damage. We'll give it an amount. We'll say 50. And we'll give it a type. And we'll say magic. Uh, oh, sorry. It's a string. String. There we go. We go like that. <clears throat> Alright. So basically, if. Um, you don't get it as I type it. Uh, you don't really need to worry about this, but this is how you call uh, if a key gets pressed, pretty much, right? Input dot key down, and then in brackets you say key code dot, and it will come up with a, a range of options. So it does kind of um, change depending on what device you're on and all this type of stuff and what language it also changes. But um, yeah, basically a key gets pressed, which is key code A, 
um, and that's when you get key down. Now input.getKeyDown is actually when the button is pressed down, not when it's held down. Uh, so there are three types. It's basically press down, hold down, and take off. And this one is press down, get key down. If I just wrote get key, then that would be holding holding the button down, right? But um, or get key up maybe. I'm not too sure. Um, but basically, if we just write get key down, it should be perfect. We've run the take damage script just so we can test this, and we've run it with magic damage because we put magic. Uh, if you can see here and the same as the damage type there so we know that it's magic damage and then we'll fiddle around of course with um, with all the uh, statistics in the main menu but first of all we'll just save that and now we'll go into unity all right guys so here it was coming up with an error and this is a very simple fix if it says cannot implicitly convert type string to bool then i know exactly what we've done if we go back into our script um, and we come down to where it says equals and then we've got in quotations magic which is the string amount all we want to do is add another equals sign on both of these so we just add one there and add one there and now once we've saved it it should all work so we'll go back into unity and we'll test this one out there we go no errors hallelujah and now we got it on our cube character so there we go so that's pretty perfect so health regen remember it was very fast last time so now we're going to set it to 0.01 and for the armor we'll set to i don't know five for the magic resist because we want to take it away remember so we're going to set it to 30 we'll say our magic resist is and then our attack damage our magic damage will be 50. Right. Oh, so now it's actually kind of uh, strange. Oh, what am I doing? Um, now it's kind of strange because we actually called a take damage function but didn't use our function. So if we go take damage and back in the script and we set it to 50, but we actually want it to set it to our magic damage amount, right? So we go magic DMG there. That's the amount we want. Uh, that is a float as well, isn't it? Magic DMG ah okay okay this may not work actually which is good because we got to solve this stuff out so if i go save and we go into unity i have a feeling we're going to get an error nope no error okay so we're going to go over to our player script and we're going to go to magic damage we set it to 50 uh and we know the button is a and we're just going to watch our health uh button on top and so we'll just click, click play for now Let's take a look all right so every time i press a 50 damage should be gone minus 30 remember brilliant works perfectly so if we attack twice goes down to 64 attack again goes down to 46 attack again 27 so it takes four attacks with 50 and the other guy's got 30 magic resist which we'll say is quite a lot of magic resistance um, just for the sake of our game. It doesn't really matter to scale because remember to balance out the game in the end You have to take all the statistics and just make them work with each of the players and all this type of nonsense Which will take a lot of testing. I'm sure um, There we go. So that's pretty much it guys actually. Thank you for watching um, I'll be back with another one and I know these are very very simple, but hopefully you guys enjoy and um, Hopefully you guys get a bit more progress and understanding on it. I mean it is bloody simple this one like really really simple all we did is add a few lines of code it didn't really teach much but yeah thank you for watching anyway i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next one